when to sell in any market that you will find. Let me tell you, if you want to practice, to practice the art of selling in any chart that you find, first of all, you need to know three things. Which patterns do you use to sell? Which strategy will you use to sell? Which are the rules? Everything is interconnected. So this lesson 98, I want to show you how, uh, when to sell. I have done lesson 97 when I was talking about when to buy. And many of the times, nobody chooses if they want to sell or they want to buy. Let nobody lie to you like, oh, me, I'm a good buyer. Oh, I'm a good seller. When it comes to the Forex market, you don't choose if you want to buy or you want to sell. The chart itself will tell you what it wants. So always look at these three things. Three things if you want to sell. So number one, you need a double top. So if you want to sell, you need a what? A double top. Number two, if you want to sell, you need an inverted cup and handle. Inverted cup and handle. And then number three, you need to perfect. You need to perfect the CSB strategy. So you need to be very, very, uh, very, very alert when current support break is, is happening. Current support is breaking. You need to be very, uh, very alert strategy strategy so these are the three things that you need if you want to be a good seller in the market and i have told you there is no way you can say oh today i want to sell you just need to know these things in your heart so that if you see a, an opportunity what will you do you will grab it and sell the market so for instance not just knowing a double top the first thing you need to know a double top is a double top on an uptrend a double top on an uptrend is the market that comes and give you that double top. So you need to ask yourself, whenever I find a double top on an uptrend or a double top on a downtrend, how will I, how will I uh, handle these double tops? So if you don't even know the difference, you will be getting a double top. You sell today, it gives you money. Tomorrow you try to sell, it you lose money. You lose the money. So what I need you to understand is that not just knowing a double top that makes the market sell, mm -hmm. even understanding a double top on an uptrend is very hard for the market to sell. Why? You are trying to reverse. But the double top on a downtrend, because the market is still a sell, it is going down, a double top, a double top on a downtrend is very easy. Why? This market can sell down, but this one to sell, it means you have to reverse. So that is the first thing you need to know about the double tops. The other thing I keep saying is about uh, RBS. So anytime you have a double top, you will identify your RBS. And RBS is something, it's a strategy I teach in my mentorship program, which is $400. If you're not in Kenya and you don't buy that course, it's only $400. It has a whole module with five episodes. Each module has five episodes. And all the way, we have done 12 modules to train you. And module 12 is where I talk of RBS strategy. So if you want to be even more advanced in your double tops, it still needs to have RBS in, in the picture. The other thing you need OPT. So we have number one is the double top, is the double top, um, double top on uptrend or downtrend. That is number one. Number two, RBS, does it have RBS? Number three, OPT. Number four, is it an obstacle? Obstacle, obst obstacle, meaning is it P1, P2, or P3? You see? So we need to know first, the double top, is it on an uptrend or downtrend? Number two, is the it does it have rbs number three it has is does it have opt so if you don't know about opt i've done a very detailed video here i've done so many videos about opt opt means one pattern on one time frame so if i find this double top on the daily i have to make sure it's not on the weekly if i find this double top on the day on the four hour 
I have to make sure it's not on the daily. So OPT, you have to go back on the videos and lessons and you learn. Another thing, the double top that you're trying to trade, is it an obstacle? Is it a pattern one, pattern two, pattern three? This one I've not done in details, but with time we will be able to come around. So, that, that, and number four, the double top that you're trying to trade, is it a swing trade? Swing trade always comes from the monthly. So a double top that is on the monthly, you trade it differently. Why? Because it's a swing trade. It's a swing trade. Uh, so you have to check even the time frame. Oh, this double top is for monthly. So this is how I will be trading this swing trade. So that's that's about double top. When it comes to, to the inverted cup and handle, the only thing I can say about inverted cup and handle is mostly it's a double bottom that has failed. So the market has come and failed to break half and broken the first attempt and the market continue. So what you need to understand is that how do I trade cup and handle? And of course, that's why I cannot teach everything for free here on YouTube. If you still want to know the aspect of selling using a cup and handle, either you buy my class, my course, or you join December class next week, you'll learn all that. The other thing is CR, CSB strategy. CSB strategy is when you have a green candle, the market is a buy. I have done this here free. There are so many videos I've done on CSB strategy. So that one I know for sure. Many people know what I'm talking about. So you have that green candle and then all of a sudden you get a red candle. So that red candle, it might be not an engulfing. You get a red candle. So what you do, you have created a resistance. What that has done has created a resistance. So if you happen, if you want a support, if you want a support, this red candle has to be followed by a green candle and the, the cycle continue. So to get a support, you need a red candle following a green candle. So we still need to see a green candle like that. And once that happens, what do you have? You have your current support. So that is what we do. So we have a resistance here and you have a support here. So in short, what I'm trying to say, a support is created when a green candle, not a green, when a red candle is followed by a green candle. So anytime you want to find a support zone, you have first to see a red candle, then followed by a green candle. So you need to improve your act, your act of uh, C as CSB. You really need to be on top of the game. Why? Because if you want to sell, current support needs to break. The market needs to come and break like that. If you really want to sell, make sure the market is breaking. If you want to buy, make sure the market has broken above. That's what we are saying, CSB strategy. So that being said, guys, um, let's get into the chart. So those are the three things that we need to check. And again, there's no way you will come on this chart and say, oh, I want to sell, oh, I want to buy. You just have the things in you, the three things if you want to sell, the three things if you want to buy, then you compare notes. So let me delete and restart again. So if this is my chart, I have opened this chart on the higher time frame. If I've opened the chart on higher time frame like this, this is a double, a double bottom. So for me, I understand that the double bottom is for buy. So what the market makers will do, the first thing they will put you off. You 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 want to sell, but they are giving you a double bottom. So anytime you have a double bottom, ask yourself, what if is the market makers wants to, to, to throw me off? Why? Anytime the market has a pattern that you can see, that's not what the banks will use. Because if they use this double bottom and you come and place your buy trade, long position, if you come and place your buy trade like that, what will happen? Everyone will win and nobody will make money. Because the banks, when us, we are making money, they are not making as much. They make the money from what we lose. And that's how the game is. So when everyone is not making any money or losing, that's why the market ranges. It consolidates, why nobody is losing the money. When you see the market going in one direction, it means there is someone who is losing that money. So many people will now assume, oh, we have been given a double bottom. But note, the lesson for today is when to sell. 
The fact that you have a double bottom and you can see it, there's an opportunity for you to sell. Why? The banks will never go with the majority because if they go with the majority, they will help us to be able to make money. So now the double bottom has even broken half. So the first thing we need to see is, is it on an uptrend or a downtrend? And the, the truth, the true matter is that the market is on an uptrend. So this market can come and reach here. But when we come to the weekly time frame to check, is this double bottom on the weekly? So because we can see the double bottom on the weekly above, it's a, a little bit above, we can still this double bottom on the weekly. So it means it's both on the weekly and on the daily. And if now you don't know how to interpret that, when a double bottom is in both time frames, daily and weekly, how do you interpret that double bottom? We interpret that that double bottom is weak. So our, our desire to go back above here ends completely. So we are thinking the market has broken this resistance, means, meaning the buyers are very strong. But why, where, why is the market stopping? Because it is here. Will the market continue? And if we look at now left on the daily, there is no pattern. And that's when we flip to the next time frame. Because first of all, we cannot place a buy trade because it's on the weekly also. And anytime a pattern is on two, two time frames, it means it is weak. The second thing, the fact that they are giving us this double bottom clearly, it means they want to trap us. So when you go to four hour, when you go to four hour and you squeeze your chart, what do you see guys? You see a possible double top. So the fact that you can see this double top, it won't come easily. It will come with a fight. So the double top, you start checking this double top like that and then you check this double top like that the fact that you can see that double top you go to the daily and you want to see are they giving me double top like opt we have one pattern on one time frame only on four hour it's not on daily so that is number one the market can sell number two we want to measure we want to measure half of this distance so let's measure half of this distance so we come and measure half of this distance. So as we try to measure half of this distance, we notice something. We do not have RBS in this, in this um, we don't have, I, I, I wouldn't say we have RBS uh, because the double, the double top neckline is around here. The RBS is not clear. For me, I would judge like we do not have it because it's not clear. Like it's those RBS that are so hidden. Now, when the market is here, now you're torn in between because we have our CSB. Now the problem is majority, they will rush to a sell or buy and it's just a matter of having patience. You want this CSB to break. So we want the market to break with a red candle for us to know that yes, the sellers have accepted. So as we wait for the market to break, so we are waiting, the market is not breaking. So when to sell? This is, after you analyze, you have to have the power of patience. So you, you sell like that. The market violates this double, dub, double top, but we still have two other zones. You see, we have not yet entered by, because the buy, the reason why we are not even entering that buy, it's because we understand it's a weak buy. And we still need more confluence on the four hour to give us a reason either to enter by with a cup and handle or to look for a double top and enter sell. Now we are still um, figuring out what is happening and the market activates the double top. The second, no, the market activated, didn't activate the first one. So you can see what the market makers do. They'll just play with your psychology. So we were hoping the first double, the double top will be activated or the second double top. What did they do? Not only did they activate the first, the second, but they have come to the third and they can continue. So what you need to check is this double top on the daily because you don't want to deal with a weak double top. The possible double top, the first thing even before we continue, are they on the daily? Are they on the daily? No, you can see where I've marked 
the yellow, they are not on the daily. So we continue. And because they are not on the daily, because they are not on the daily, what do we do now? So what happens is that we come and uh, mark our half. So our half is a bit higher. So, and the notice the current support, the current support changes. So we have, we have the, you have at the, at the red zone here, we have a red zone. So it, it goes a bit above. So we have two, two supports. So we have the, the most current support and we have the bigger, the, the lower one. So we are waiting again. So understand we all, we are doing this for CSP because we want to sell and we can't just sell without a strategy. And I told you number one thing that can help you to be selling is a double top. And that's what we are really paying attention. So the market ranges there, ranges, and eventually does what? It breaks our current support. So you can see our current support is broken and majority, what will they do? They will enter sell. And that's why guys, you go wrong. Why? Because before you enter sell, you have to double check everything. Let me tell you, anytime the market makers are giving you something easily, you have to check everything. It's better to, to feel like you're so paranoid, but it's better to check everything. So for me, I remember there are so many trades I have entered like this, 199 pips. So many trades I've entered like this, and I'm seeing I will get 200 pips, but they end up messing me up. The question is, what really happened to this trade? So we have to check, yes, this four hour has broken. Yes, the four hours are broken. And you can see on four hour, it's not like they have activated this double bottom because if they activated this double bottom, the market would have continued to sell. For me, that's what I believe. The, if they, they activate this double bottom, there's chances of selling because of inverted cap and handle. Even if we have a double bottom, it will come a little bit and then sell. So the failure to activate that double bottom is a red flag. So if we go to two hours and we check what is happening, did they activate a new pattern as they are telling us to sell? Can you see this double bottom? Is it clear? So majority are celebrating they have been given a sell opportunity. But what is happening on the two hours, you're being told, no, 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 no. This one, it's gonna buy if it gives us our CRB. So if CRB happens, this market gonna buy. So what you do, guys, what you do, you don't joke with this pattern. This is an obstacle which you don't joke with because the, the pattern was on four hour. That is a double top. Can you see a double top? And it has given a sell entry and that one is clear. So for me, I believe because of this double bottom is very hidden, not majority who can discover this double bottom, it becomes easier for the market makers to use it. So what will happen is that if you follow this market half, we will see what is happening. So the next candle, the market starts to come up, the next market starts to come up. And now from the two hour, you're being told to enter by. So even if you enter by, and that's what I've said, you can never decide which side you want. You can never say, oh, I want to sell, oh, I want to buy. This video, I just want to show you, when do you sell? How, what are criteria of selling? You're not the one who chooses to sell. So you will find yourself you wanted to sell, but you have started to do your, your buy trades because sell is not possible at that time. So you have 38 pips. Let's see if those 38 pips were hit. So the market is continuing to go up. And what do they do? They activate a new pattern, but you have an exit point. If they dare to break that current support, you're out. But let's see what happens. The market continues continues, they are not even breaking that current support and they activate your, uh, the, the market gives you, uh, they, they hit the TP. Now we want to come back to four hour and ask ourselves, what has just happened? The market, how can this market gives me a double top? Breaks, give me a CRB, C 
CSB and eventually buys and violates this market. So those are some of the things that should come in your, in your mind. What do I need to do or what do I need to learn to incorporate to the next trade? If I see the next trade um, having the same setup, I'll be able to know. I want to tell you this. You have to know which pattern you're dealing with. This was pattern two because we had pattern one uh, on the daily pattern two. So you have to, to really mind which pattern are you dealing with. Now on two hours, we have a double bottom. We have this double bottom. And because the market has now started to buy, many people now are asking themselves, why is this market buying? And you see what will happen? Majority will want to involve in that buy. And that's what they do. If everyone now wants to buy, the minute you know how to buy, the minute you want to know how to buy, what happens? What happens if you want to know, if, you, if everyone now thinks the market will buy, they will change direction. So for me, I feel that the game of Forex is like the way you, you it's like a game. This is a game. When you discover someone, they change their color. It's a chameleon. I keep telling you that Forex is like a chameleon. When you discover the color is red, they will change to yellow. If you discover yellow, they will change to black. Now, according to 4-Hour, everyone now is surprised. Why is this market buying? And maybe they'll go to the daily time frame and they will say, oh, the reason why the market is buying is because of this double bottom. Let me buy to the neckline. So majority will start overthinking, canceling their negatives, placing buy trades, because that's what the market makers want you to do. So when you come to four hours, you are not seeing any pattern. In fact, the market has broken a major resistance zone, and you're thinking this market has to come back here. You see the half of that double bottom. So you're thinking, ah, I will buy. Those are how many pips? Because even daily, it is still supporting me. That is 53 pips. So you're thinking, I will buy. So you go to two hours and you think, I don't have, you see, even two hours, they have broken neckline and it's going up. So you're thinking, has have they activated any another pattern? No. You try to go back to one hour. They have broken the neckline. You squeeze the chart. No, you don't have anything nothing that has been activated you go back to four hours let me tell you i used to do that and i would not go to three hour time frame and when i did on three hour time frame and i started to, to notice a difference i want to introduce to you three hour time frame guys three hour time frame is very important why you will see something that you can never see on two hours one hour and four hours so when i flip on three hours guess what i see on three hours all other time frames, all other time frames have broken the neckline. Only three hours have not broken the neckline. So it means, in short, this market has activated a double top. You can see a small double top. So any other time frame has broken the four hour has broken that resistance. You can see the green candle. Two hours have broken the neckline. One hour have broken. So majority of the time frame have broken. 30 minutes have broken. So the only time frame that did not break, and I don't know why, but the only time frame that did not break is three hours. So this is the market uh, for three hours didn't break. So the question is, we have a double top that is not available on any time frame. And this double top is telling us to sell. You see now, you have wanted to sell all along but there is no opportunity. And now we have this golden opportunity. If we have to sell, if we have to sell, the half is here, exactly half is here. And then how do we sell if the market breaks that current support? So again, we, we take back our strategy. And that's why I told you, CSB will be your favorite strategy. Uh, double tops will be your favorite strategy and 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 uh you you can even check rbs opit all those things if you want to sell so we are waiting to see how will the market react so after that the market not only breaks our current support but it breaks our half meaning this market is coming to the neckline guys so this market is coming all the way 
to the neckline. Now, this one, many people are wondering, why is the market now again selling? You see how they twist you? Because nobody will ever think we have a pattern on three hours. So you come and sell like that. So you come and sell, and those are how many pips? And why are you selling? Because if it is not available on other time frames, it means it's strong, 64 pips. So you wait, wait, you wait, and the market and the tip is hit. Now, because the tip is hit, when the tip is hit, you're thinking 